Israeli forces raid Al Shifa Hospital in Gaza, home to thousands of Palestinians seeking treatment and shelter. A top Qatari official visits the Rafah crossing for the first time since the war erupted. And finally, President Joe Biden and top US officials are facing a major lawsuit. Stick around for more. Hi, this is Ali. This is the Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Israeli forces raided the Al Shifa Hospital on Wednesday despite global demands to protect civilian facilities. Al Shifa is the largest hospital complex in Gaza and has been hosting thousands of Palestinians seeking life-saving treatment and shelter. Israeli forces have reportedly carried out room-by-room -room raids and have asked all patients to leave as they comb the facility to search for alleged Hamas fighters. However, Gaza's health ministry spokesman Ashraf Al-Qudra stressed that there are only doctors, patients, and displaced people inside. He appealed to the international community to urgently dispatch security and international delegations on the ground to protect civilians. Now, top Qatari official Lulu al khatar visited the Rafah crossing between Egypt and Gaza on Tuesday as part of a delegation delivering aid to Palestinians. The aid includes a field hospital, shelter supplies, as well as medical aid and food materials for Gazans facing genocide over the border. al Khatar has been a vocal advocate of Palestinian rights and launched a scathing tirade against backers of Israel earlier this week. And finally, US President Joe Biden as well as Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin are facing a federal complaint for failing to prevent and aiding the genocide of Palestinians in Gaza. The Center for Constitutional Rights, a New York Civil Liberties group, filed the complaint on behalf of the Palestinian Human Rights Organization on Monday. So far, more than 11,300 Palestinians have been killed in just over a month, and calls for a ceasefire have been ignored by Israel. Well, that's all for today. For more stories, head over to our website or download our app.